Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we found out that Rao was actually the Dark Lord we've been trying to defeat all this time. And Himiko met, uh, met her demise because of our mistake. This episode, we're going to be rushing to Watcher's Cape, because Himiko had one last revelation before she died. It was that Oni Island was going to appear off, the, off Watcher's Cape this evening. If we don't make it there in time, all will be lost and we'll never be able to defeat the Dark Lord. Let's go. There it is, Oni Island. It's it's a, just a hop, skip, and jump up there. So let's go ahead and use our new technique, Catwalk. Climb up, and hopefully we made it in time. Hopefully. We have, we're, this, enti the entire fate of Nippon is just balancing on the tip of a, of a cliff. And our actions right now will make or break its existence. So, ah, uh, sorry about the cut there. It turned to nighttime before I could actually reach uh, the end of Watcher's Cape. It's actually about that time now. You have a very small window to make it here, and you cannot, t you cannot uh, dilly dally. Why, Amaterasu? Hiya, babe. How do you ever find this place? I sense Queen Himiko's fathom fathomless regret upon her last breath. It made its way to the distant halls of the dr Dragon Palace. Behold, the sun. Even now it sinks down beyond the sea. Once it's gone, so too shall Oni Island disappear. No one knows where it will appear next. And... No art known to mortals can divine its location. That may be true, but listen, it really doesn't matter because we can't break we can't break the barrier. I mean, the water dragon was our only hope, and it's dead now. The water dragon is not dead in the true sense of the word. I can harness its power with a sincere prayer to the dragon orb. Behold, Amaterasu. I, Otohime of the Dragonians, shall transform into a dragon and break through the wall that divides. May I serve you as a divine bridge to the heavens. Now, Amaterasu, you must cross while life yet courses through these veins. Okay, hang in there, babe. We'll be back in a jiffy. Sorry, Furball. Looks like millet dumplings aren't in, aren't in your stars. You'll have to settle for kicking some monster, hi uh, monster behind on Oni Island. So, here's our bridge. Let's cross. Very unorthodox bridge, but hey, we have to defeat this this evil by any means necessary. I really like how we defeated Orochi. Orochi was the main evil, but so many more evils pop up to challenge normal life. I'm not saying that I like that. I'm just saying that, you know, it wasn't just we defeated Orochi. Now, here's some extra stuff in the game where we're just going to look through, we're just going to explore and find more brush techniques. No, there's still more adventure to be ha had. Listen up, Ami. Himiko's probably watching us, so... Promise me you won't give up for some stupid reason like you're hungry or have to go to the bathroom. Are you ready? <sighs> Everything I need to be done is squared away. We have 15 units of health. We have about seven ink pots or eight, and we have all the equipment we'll need. Let's go. Okay then, I'll hold you to your word. Here we are. 
Oni Island. We've seen it from a distance for so long. And now we're finally able to reach it. So, uh, right there, you can see that... Just wait. Whoa. That looks nasty. Normally we'd be crispy critters if we touched that stuff, but it shouldn't be any different from water for you now, Ami. Come on, how about some of that water magic of yours? So yeah, because we have the fire tablet, we can swim in that now. And with water spout, or lava spout, I guess, we can climb up there. But first, I would like to talk to uh, Otohime, because she's really struggling here. What in the world are you doing, Furball? You're gonna, you're gonna break Otohime's concentration. Cut it out! Hopefully she can hold on. She's really straining right now. Okay, let's go up. And enter Oni Island proper. We're entering the mouth of this island, which is a little bit disturbing, but hey, this is evil we're talking about. It's always disturbing. Or at least it should be. Oni Island. <sighs> this looks like the greatest... Uh, how, how should I word this? The greatest evil we faced thus far was Orochi. His lair was the Moon Cave, an area that, while full of imps, it wasn't that foreboding or menacing. This, though, this area, just, it, it just reeks of evil. And you know what? I love it. It's just, it's so good. It, it's so much more atmospheric than the Moon, moon Cave, in my opinion. While the Moon Cave was really scary, it didn't offer much in the, uh, in the department of like, of evil. You know, we got to talk to imps, we got to help imps, and they didn't really seem all that bad from up close. I mean, we actually got to get a peek at their world, but here, here, it's completely different. This is a fortress. This is not a lair. This is a fortress. And we're leading the charge in here, alone. Just, it's... It's something that I always liked, that this place was so much more... It, it just had such a st str uh, strong atmosphere as compared to any other area we've been to. And Golden Peach, meh. Okay. My rant on that is pretty much over, be because I have nothing really more to say on that. But yeah, this is the... It, this is the most recent dungeon, so... It's going to be hard. Trust me, this is a hard dungeon. Come on, get up, get up there. Get. There we go. Yeah, Water Spout never really got along with me much. Okay. I just want to make sure that I have all the treasure chests that are available on the outside of this place. And then we can go inside. Okay, I have no idea why these iron rocks are here because there doesn't... There it doesn't really seem to be anything underneath them. Yeah, there's nothing... Yeah, okay. It's just atmosphere, I guess. And can I get... That's that's a big question. Can I get over there? I'm really curious. I don't think I can. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside without... Without any more procrastination. Except for this. We have a new enemy. These are... The red and blue ogres. These are my arch enemy. Seriously. I've had so much trouble with these guys in the past, and in some of the Devil Gate Trial Caves, they actually swarm these on you. So, uh, its strategy is, first of all, use Gale of Mist to get around to its side and attack it from the side, because once enough damage is dealt, you will be able to destroy the mask on its face, uh, making it so you can attack it from all angles. Once... Oh, and also, it will spew poison from time to time. The strategy for both of these is the same. They're just a paired enemy, so yeah, that's why they're different colors. Okay, so when it uses poison, go ahead and use Gale Storm to blow the poison away and stun the enemy. And with this, you can actually Power Slash. And when you deflect the poison, you, can, you may use Power Slash to break the shield with no negative repercussions at all. Okay, uh, we do not actually have the Floral Finisher of this enemy at this moment, so I will not be posting that. Okay, let's go and do this, and it's about to swing. Okay, and attack it from behind. And, oh! Oh! Oh, that was close. That was really close. Okay. And it is dead. And we do not have the Floral Fincher, so I will think of something very appropriate. It'll show how I feel about this enemy. K 
kill it with fire. Okay, 10,000 yen. Now, I would say if that's any indication of what this dungeon will actually be, then we're in for a hard time. And I can't say if, because that is an indication of what we're going to be dealing with in this, in this dungeon. So look forward to that. Oni Island. You have to have a pretty warped mind to build, build a castle here. I bet those two-bit monsters think they're big shots living here. Let's teach them a lesson by fighting our way to the top and dragging that fox-headed wench down to by the scruff of her neck. My thoughts exactly. She's manipulated us for far too long. But first, before uh, before the revenge, we have to uh, sell some stuff. Who goes there? Hey, how did you get in here? You ain't come to invade us, poor folk of Oni Island, have you? If you have, you you've got me to answer too. A fight to end all fights. And the best way to sell, uh, settle it? With a bit of business, of course. Do some shopping? Yes, I will. Thank you, kind sir. Now, I did mention how you got to see a bit of an inside part of of the forces of Orochi, and that, I'm not going to say it kind of ruined the atmosphere, but it kind of distracted from it, in my, in my opinion. I mean, it, it was very interesting, and I got a lot from it, because now I kind of I see imps in a different light now, but also, it didn't give it the evil f feel that I guess they were trying to go for. But, you know, it's th this, it's not going to become a main thing. We're not going to be finding ingredients for, uh, for the Dark Lord's appetizer. We're just going to be uh, fighting our way through. Let's see. I don't really need anything. You're not selling anything unique. Actually, you know what? I'll buy four Holy Bone Elves, two Holy Bone M's. Uh, two holy bone S's, just so I have, I have multiples of five. Uh, I'll buy. No, I won't buy these because I have so many. I have so many sakes, which I really should use these. And I'll buy. No, I'll leave that alone. Okay, I'm I'm done. Thank you, Umbrella Man. Okay, uh, this this actually looks like a special save mirror, but it's really not. Just it's just one like uh, like any other. Okay, so this dungeon. We have this mechanism here. What's up with this pedestal? Looks like some kind of contraption. And what's with this hole here? I wonder if it's a keyhole. Yeah, so that's a light bulb right there. So we're going to be dealing with some form of electricity in this area, uh, which is further, further hinted at by the lightning bolt right there. And also a secret room. I love secret rooms with a key and a battle. Okay. Uh, snap. Oh, wait, these are just poltergeists. Wait, yeah, these are... I was like, oh, new enemy! But no, these are just poltergeists. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this one. Not the fire one. Please, not the fire one. Actually, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to show off. Let's go ahead and hit that guy with Power Slash. Oh, I killed it. Okay. Uh, I would like to show off our new technique, Whirlwind. There we go. Get over here. Get over here. Die. Look at that. Look how how well I'm draining this guy's health. Like, seriously. One, two, three. Look at that. I don't even have to attack him. I just have to run towards him, and he's dead. Wait. How did I get... Question. How did I get his Floral Fincher if his Floral Fincher is Power Slash, and I got it with Whirlwind? That's really weird. I have no idea what's up with that. And... Uh... That is something that we can't deal with yet. Uh, those are not platforms, those are just thigamahiggles. Thigab so we're not going to be dealing with thigamahiggles yet. Now, I'm a little bit... Okay, we can't go through that door. I was wondering, like, why why we had two options. Wow, this door is really shut tight. Hmm, it's, it's got to be pretty... It's got a pretty strange mark on it. How on earth would someone open a door like this anyway? Uh, you guys are probably guessing at the mechanic of this dungeon, which I will not tell you guys what it is for those of you who have yet to get it. Although it is pretty obvious, so I don't think I'm 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 t keeping a sec keeping much of a secret. Okay, so through this door, our hall is a hallway and a chest over there. I'll get the chest. Chest. Gotten. Bullhorn. Okay. So there are no collectibles in this dungeon. I just want to make make sure that's clear because uh, we'll not be able to return here once we are done. I just want to make that clear. Also. 
but you're not missing anything by not being able to return here. Just saying. To the Labyrinth of Torment. Before playing in the Labyrinth of Torment, note the following. Step on the foot switch and the demon slip will start moving. Get through the exit gate first or you'll be sealed in. To make a dash, swing the Wii Remote to perform a tackle, and press and hold the control stick forward. Dashing is the fastest way to reach the exit gate. The Labyrinth of Torment is for the enjoyment of everyone on Oni Island, so do not make a mess of it while playing. Wow, these monsters actually have rules and stuff. And I did a very... <laughs> I did a perfect impression, a perfect cell right there, which I wasn't even trying to do. Uh, Toby! Excuse me, good sir. Might I ask what you're doing here? Huh? Did that scrap of paper just say something? Scrap of paper, do not dishonor me with such an unflattering name. My name is Toby. Evil being. Toby! The best name for an evil being. Yeah, whatever. So, what do you want, Motormouth? I serve as the gatekeeper of Oni Island. My job is to keep suspicious people out. I have never seen you around here before, good sir. Who are you and what is your business? What business do you have here? You talking to my fine furry friend? Well, this this here is full throttle on me. We gotta get to the top of this castle ASAP! Sorry, no time to shoot the breeze with ya. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Did you not hear me? I am the gatekeeper of Oni Island. But let us dispense with the formalities. So, good sir, you are known as Full thro Throttle Ami, are you? Well, I fancy myself a fine racer too, you know. How about we challenge each other to a race? Just a race to see who can reach the exit gate over there first. That sign over there explains how to race against me. But, as you said, let us stop shooting the breeze. From now on, let our race do the talking. Okay. Toby! You are Toby! Okay, so, like this, like the sign explained, we're just supposed to step on the switch and the race will begin. It will be very simple starting off, however, it will get a lot more complicated as time goes on. Now, one thing I should mention is using Veiled Mist does... Oh, he's over there, okay. Using Veiled Mist does not do anything. It does not slow him down. So, it's actually pretty worthless for you to use. Not bad, good sir. But that was a mere warm-up for me. Now you shall see what I really can do. Now, I ask you, good sir, can you bear being skewered alive? Stumble and you will fall headfirst into a sea of needles. Well, can you bear such a thing? What are you talking about? I mean, who possibly could? Well, whatever happens, please do not give up. It, it is so exciting to, ha to finally have a worthy opponent after so long. Okay, Toby, race part two. I'll beat you this time as well. Now, you do get money for these, so I just want to point that out. Emphasis on point that out. Toby, get over here. Toby. Toby. What are you doing? There you are. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Hoobalabala. Let's get over there. And we beat Toby. Yeah, we got money for it. Like, a thousand yen or whatever. Okay, where's Toby Part 3? I want to see Toby Part 3. He must be some worthy opponent of fighting me. I, I'm actually really rocking the perfect cell voice right now when I do Toby's voice. That's pretty nice. For, for those of you who don't know, although how could you not, because I pretty much do some reference to cell every episode, which is really strange. I have, like, this, like, se perfect cell I do, like, a really <laughs> perfect impression of in my opinion, and I like it, and I never get tired of it, and I keep doing the perfect cell impression subconsciously, and I, I will never never be able to shake it. So, yeah, that's that's my thing. I cannot stop the cell impressions. For those, and also, I like Dragon Ball Z, so that's kind of an indication. Okay, this actually seems like it should be part of the race, but it's just platforming. And it's very, it's very linear, actually. Like, there are no split paths. Hi, Toby! You seem a bit winded, good sir. Do not risk your life by overdoing it, hee <laughs> hee. The terrace passage ahead is not all that dangerous. Shall we? Yes, we shall. How do I get across terrace path? I don't know. But let's try it. Leap for a thing. Oh, I, I see what we need to do. Oh, wow. I cannot believe I made that. That was awesome. Look at me go. Where do I go next? Oh, I... Wow. I 
totally smoked him there. Like, that was insane. I didn't even need the, the cat statues. That was amazing. I must warn you, good sir. The true horror of the Labyrinth of Torment starts here. Perhaps it would be best if we turn back now. <laughs> Getting cold Pete. Gold, cold Pete. Getting cold feet, are you, scrap? Now stop blabbing and let's get on with it. I was hoping you would say that, good sir. The passage of Saw's laws lies ahead. This is where I get serious. Uh, that's kind of what you said last time. You said this, this is where it starts getting tough. But hey, I'll give it. I'll give it to you. Maybe, maybe you have yet to show your stuff. Let's go and do this. This is pretty easy. You just have to time your jumps very well, and you can beat him with no problem whatsoever. He's actually ahead of me right now, which is a bit worrisome. Oh, wait, I, I pulled ahead, I pulled ahead, come on, full throttle on me, do it! Full throttle on me for the win! Yeah! That was actually pretty close. I'll, get, I'll give it to Toby that he's, he started getting serious there. And what is this? This seems like something I could bomb. Uh, is it something I can bomb? Bomb? No, but it looks like something I could bomb. And in here is the thing. The, you, you know the thing, guys, right? The thing, yeah. Okay, I, I really want to bomb, like, I wish this was bombable. I have no idea why this is here. Okay, what else do you have for us, Toby? What a fine race you you run, good sir. Full Throttle Ami is a fitting name indeed. But I cannot bear to lose again. This is, it is a matter of personal honor. Well, shall we? The passage of Demonic Wheels awaits. Okay, Demonic Wheels, that sounds fun. This, is, this also seems like something I should use... Veil of Mist on. Oh, snap. No. Oh. That stunk. Okay, I, I have an idea this time. Watch. This is my idea. I'll do this. Okay. He beat us that time. But, this is my idea. I'll get a running start. So, I'm at full speed when I do this. Okay, can I make it through? Yes, I did. I can. Okay. Can I make it through again? No! Get through, get through, get through, get through. Whoa! No, oh, no, D get, no. Did he win? Did he win? I could still get this. I could still get this. I could still get, no. Snap. Oh. Okay. Uh, wow. Th this is actually pretty good for him. Okay, let's try this again. I don't think Veil of Mist will help us. Th we just have to be really good about not hitting those stupid spikes. I lost a bit of speed there, but that's fine. Okay, through this one. No. Through this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come back, Ami, for the win. No. Stupid piece of paper. I'll kill you. I will. Wait, can I actually get back this way? No, I'm dead. Wait. Wait. Ha. <laughs> I cheated the system, guys. I cheated it cheated it I didn't die you see this I didn't die that's awesome I can make it back wait a minute I just thought of something oh get off me okay yeah he th he didn't drop the floor out from under me this time which is nice uh no I was I was gonna think maybe I could like cheat it but this is actually bad for me can I jump over him yes I can good okay I think the running start is where I really need to get it running start this should be enough Boom! Okay, if I can beat him early in the race, I should have the rest in the bag, even if I crash, which I didn't. Oh, I'm doing it! Perfect! Perfect! Yes! Come on! Keep going! I did it! What was that? Fourth try? I don't know, but I did it. Oh, I got a reward, and a treasure. An exorcism slip M! That's actually a really good reward, okay. Uh, Good, okay. Part 5 of Day at the Races. What do you have to say, Toby? I am absolutely astonished. Never, I never thought you could keep up with me. Oh, get over it, Scrap. You're just not as good as you think you are. Very well. Let us try something a bit different this time. No disrespect intended, good sir. But do you think you can beat me in a chamber of delay? Ch what? I, what? What does that mean? Uh, that seems like the gate's right over there. I have no idea why this would be harder. But let's give it a shot. What's up? Oh, are whoa! That that not fair. Uh, let's use everything we have because 
he's actually, Toby's like right over there. He's still moving. Yeah, he's right there. I think we can do this. Let's just keep burning these guys. Okay, he's dead. And are you dead? You're dead. Ha! Y y Toby, you thought you could beat me, but you're just a piece of scrap paper. He's right there. Come on, come on. Let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through! Yeah, I still beat him, even though he got allies to help him. That was cheap. Okay, there's another chest for our troubles, which contains a coral fragment. I'll have to admit, this is a really cool mechanic. It really, like, I, it takes a step away, a big step, away from any dungeon I've ever seen. It's just really nice. It's kind of a breath of, breath of fresh air, I'm not going to lie. This, this dungeon has a lot of good memories for me. Okay, lasers. Everyone loves lasers. Okay, a healing gate, which I actually needed this time. Third time we've seen this in the game, and this one, for the first time, was actually useful. The la Labyrinth of Torment. Heat rays of, of hell. How to play. The cursed statues will shoot deadly heat rays at you without any mercy. You'll be badly injured if you're hit by one, so avoid them carefully. An impact to these statues could cause a, mo a momentary malfunction, so be sure to use caution when dealing with them. The Labyrinth of Torment is for the enjoyment of everyone on Oni Island, so do wait for your turn and respect others. Wow, these mountain monsters actually have rules and stuff. Okay, for the most part, we... Ow! As soon as I say... As soon as I say we can avoid these things, I get hit. Okay, we can, for the most part, avoid these lasers just by being good. Mm, sorry, did I say did I say just by being good? I meant just by stinking a whole lot. Okay, these lasers are really easy if you know what to do. This is embarrassing. Ow! Okay, <laughs> I'm starting to be reminded of Kung Fu Panda right here. Okay, so these these squares you cannot be hit on. <laughs> I make funny noises when I'm when I'm doing badly. I'm not sure if you've noticed, or if I'm concentrating, I make really weird noises, like blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, so they're hidden chests. Well, not hidden. They're just there on these things. If we hit the statues, they'll malfunction for a moment, allowing us to pass by. There's a very small window for this, so be careful. And there's a weird switch right there, which I have no idea what does, but I'll get to it. Yes. What does that do? What, what does it do? I have no idea why I just did, but I'll, I'll, I'll assume that it was important. Okay, uh, where, where to next? Uh, actually, let's jump here. Can I go through that? No, I can't. No! Okay. Uh, where do I go? Can I, can I make that jump? Uh, let's try. Okay, let's time this. Okay, zoom. Boom. Crash! Yes, I made it, even though I took a bunch of damage. Let's do it. Ha! Sequence break for the win. And I... Wait a minute. You guys see that? Like, this is just em an empty suit of armor. It has no legs. It's weird. Also, it looks a lot like Orochi now that I think of it. Huh. Okay. Uh, Orochi actually did have a laser attack. I don't think we ever got to see it, though. Okay, I'm here. I can jump... Over there, maybe? Actually, no. I think it'd be better if I just did that. No! Oh, I almost fell. I, I got hit. Jump, jump. I'll have to admit, I'm stinking at this really badly. Okay. I think I, I, can, I can make that, right? Right, guys? Let's try it. Shortcut test for the win. And... Wait a minute. Oh, okay. We're, we're there. I was a little bit worried for a second. Okay. That was easy. Where are we? Oh, we're here. Oh, one of these guys. Of course. I love you. Oh, and also, uh, it's... Oh, snap. It's at this point that I can show you guys uh, this guy's floor fincher because I was not able to show it before. I said we didn't have it, but that I, it was just we weren't able to use it. So let's actually attack him for realsies. Uh, and no, you're not going to do that. Permission... Oh, whoa, snap. Permission denied, good sir. Never mind. Uh, permission not denied. Let's... Oh, no. Oh, no. You leave me alone. No! 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 Get away from me! Uh, nah. He's upside down. Why was he upside down? 
Okay, put put your put your weapons away, sir. Just die, please. Can you just die? It's all I ask. Okay, its floor finisher is actually just water spout. Sorry, sorry. It's water spout. No, sorry, water spout. Never mind. We don't have its floor finisher. Son of a gun. Even though I, I'm pretty sure water is its floor finisher, it is, but we can't use it for whatever reason. That's strange. Uh, but uh, where where am I going? Is this the thing? Yes, it is. Okay, we're here. And an origin mirror. I know this is like the weirdest place to end it off in the world. Also, oh, that's where about where we... Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I know this is like a really strange place to end it off. But I'm going to end it here. Because I, I, I fear that if we progress much further, then uh, we, will, we will like make this a 50 or... 40 minute episode and I do not want that to happen okay next time in pal plays Okami we'll be progressing through Oni Island we've actually we've done a, a fair shake this episode especially since we didn't start the episode in this place <sighs> but man this is hard like this is actually a hard dungeon I, I haven't really been able to say that before look at my damage I've taken damage from this dungeon normally you only take damage from from battles but I've actually taken damage from the dungeon, which is insane. So yeah, next time we're going to be progressing. Uh, if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so you, that you would like it. And uh, I release new episodes of Kami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. Okay. Huh. Uh, see you guys next time. Man, that was insane. Like... I hope you guys thought that and didn't think I was just doing bad, but that's actually really hard. I've always had trouble with this place. And, and I don't know, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of talking to you guys like right now just for funsies, not actually telling you guys what's going on. It's kind of nice, honestly. It's kind of nice. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I have nothing more to say. Well, I guess I could talk about how I was driving on the side of the road once, like a couple weeks ago, and I was getting on off, or I was getting on an on ramp, and I saw like a, a tablet on the side of the road, like not like a stone tablet, like a a smartphone tablet ish. So I stopped and picked it up, and it actually worked. Yeah, it was pr it was actually this is actually a true story by the way. It worked, and I because I could turn it on. It was it had low battery and it was passcode locked, but it was um it worked and it was a Galaxy it was a Galaxy tablet. Yeah, it was a Galaxy tablet. So, yeah, I'm I'm trying to find the owners. I'm like going to sto Samsung or not Samsung, Verizon stores. It's so, like ask them if they can find the owner and notify them because they said they could. But, yeah. It's pretty cool. Also, I'm just kind of ta talking to you guys instead of like music play, which is interesting something it's it's definitely new but uh i think i'm going to initiate the actual end slate right now because i want you guys to hear the awesome music that was playing at the beginning of this episode i really like it so i'm a big fan okay i'll stop i'll stop procrastinating and actually initiate the end slate thanks for listening to my brief my brief story <laughs> this is really weird that i'm doing this but <laughs> i'm not editing this out because it was funny okay I'll see you guys next time. I hope you I hope you watch or if you don't, I guess I'll just stop talking. Bye.